Hi, this is Group A, and my name is Caitlin Tran, and I will be presenting alongside Elizabeth Martin, Yahara Mulan, and Marcus Alvarez. And we are on the viewpoint of against castrating and dehorning done in food animals. Castration is an ancient husbandry procedure used to produce docile cattle for draught work to reduce unwanted breeding and to modify carcass quality. All of the physical methods used to castrate cattle have side effects and cause pain. The plasmal cortisol response to castration used for drusial clamps and by inference the acute pain experience is less than that caused by surgical rubber banding or latex band castration. The cortisol response may be influenced by the age of the animal castrated but it has not been well defined. Local anesthesia virtually eliminates the cortisol response and thus the acute pain caused by the rubber ring or latex band castration but needs to be combined with a systematic analgesic such as a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug ketoprofen to eliminate the cortisol response to perdrusio or surgical castration. When used alone, ketoprofen sometimes reduces the cortisol response to perdrusio or surgical castration, but may need to be accompanied by the local anesthesia to eliminate the pain-induced behavior seen during the castration process itself. Thus, pharmacological methods are available to virtually eliminate the acute pain experienced by caps during the 12 hours following the castration. The use of these methods is an additional cost for farm farmers and may be limited by the availability of drugs for farmers to use and the scarcity of veterinarians in farm animal practice. It is unknown when castration was first practiced nor when it was invented. It may be that it arose independently in more than one place, but there is evidence that it was practiced as far back as 4000 BC based on descriptions in the cult of Ishtar and Uruk. It may have arisen in the Neolithic period and in response to animal husbandry, rising population, and population specialization. The history of dehorning. The bovine horn is a special organ of epidermal origin that is absent at birth. The cluster of cells is located at the junction of the eventual horn and the skin is the site of the horn production. Cattle without horns cause fewer injuries to other animals and the humans that horned the animals. The National Farm Care Council Dairy Code of Practice and for the care of handling dairy cattle stipulates that the disbutting and dehorning may be, must be performed with pain relief that the dehorning must be performed also be performed with bleeding control. This is important because though it, though people worry about the safety of the animals, it shows that the leaders in our industries are taking the necessary steps in order to protect these animals as much as possible. So let's talk about ethics that are involved. Well, the definition of ethics just basically means it comes down to something being good or bad, so wrong or right. And it's been debated for many years whether or not that it's ethically right to dehorn and castrate these animals. And ultimately, it comes down to how it affects the animal. And it really does affect them. They go through a lot of stress. And it's proven that these animals actually do suffer after these procedures are performed on them. So there are a lot of risk factors that can take place. These animals suffer from things such as overwhelming stress, which affects their mental and physical health, as I said earlier. So they go through a lot of um, emotions and just feelings. And the pain that is endured can change the overall character of these animals, so they wouldn't act how they usually would act. Um, these animals have rights too, and they feel feelings and emotions similar to humans. I mean, they go through a lot of emotion, and if something is putting them down, it will show. And completing these procedures just aren't morally right. As you can see, the sad cow in the corner and the sad little goat, um, they can actually experience a lot of what we experience if we're gone, put through something traumatic. So overall, um, it's not right. Cultural and sociological importance. It is for sure that in some parts of the world, culturally and sociologically, Castration can be considered in a bad way. The pain that the animal feels when it's being castrated or dehorned. According to a website, so many farmers 
does not allow the castration and the horning of animals. They are not agree with it because they think that the pain that the animals feel when it's being castrating or the horning, it's not right for them. In the India, the Hindus religion, the cow is a venerated animal. The Indians are not allowed to eat a cow. This is because the Hindus see the cow as a symbol. Most of the people in India are considered vegetarians because the cows are venerated in their religion and they cannot kill them so they can be heard in either in this culture. Jews do not accept the human and no human castration. The Jews are against castration in human and not human. This means that they can be a person cannot be castrating an, an animal either. This is because they see it as a part of an abomination towards the human and animal bodies and is against their culture. The castration and the horning in baby animals can be take can be taken as an end product. The farmers take the castration and the horning as an end of products because the side effects can complicate the growth of animals. This means that they will have less meat that will be used for food. The reproduction of animals will be end. If we move to the reproduction of animals, this can take complications. If the animals are castrated, how are they going to reproduce themselves? This means that we are going to have less animals. This and consequences of this are that we are not going to have more food because we're not letting them reproduce. That the horning in old animals can have bad consequences. The consequences that, that the horning in old animals have are that as an old animal can be easier to suffer an hemorrhage and die so fast. Also, the pain for the for they are worse than for a young animal. And the first picture that we're looking is showing us how the castration is and how they castrate the animals. Two persons have to hold the animal. In the second picture, the dehorning, we can tell how they have to, the animal bleeding while they cut his horn. The third picture is a cow that it's being venerating by a person from India. I saw so much videos of India and the cows are walking by the streets like if it was a dog. Okay, so my name is Marcus and uh, I'm gonna be focusing more on castration or the procedure of castration. All right, so first off, what a castration is, um, it's a removal or an activation of the testicles of a male animal um, farmers do this to reduce the testosterone level in their cattle. Uh, there are many different methods in which uh, people castrate animals. Um, and the methods that they, or the different methods that they use are divided up into three main groups. These groups are physical, chemical, and hormonal. Physical castration involves applying a constricting elastic band at the base of the scrotum. Then they proceed by using an external clamping device that removes the testicles. So just by me describing the process, I'm sure you can assume that the procedure is painful to the animals. Um, a chemical castration includes an injection of toxic agents into the testicles. So their toxic agents include 88% lactic acid, which is getting injected in, uh, into them. This type of castration requires additional procedural time 
and more skill so not just any farmer could do it they have to obviously know what they're doing with the lactic acid being injected this causes irreparable damage to the male and uh, to the male animal and loss of function um, as far as pain uh, the severity of it it differs depending on which method was used and the different techniques that they used and it's proven that animals show signs of pain during and after castration. Uh, these signs include kicking their hind legs, struggling, uh, restlessness, etc. Um, this pain that the animals go through lasts at least four hours and can even be longer. Um, since the most common method of castration is by the Bredizzo clamp and surgical procedures, I decided to find out how severe this pain was for the animals. So by do or to do that, I found out uh, that it's proven that animals feel this pain immediately as the procedure starts. So all of this just they do all of this just to reduce the testosterone level in animals. Um, animals also uh, can also uh, go through or feel chronic pain as well. Um, so some of the pain isn't just immediate and it can last for a while. Uh, lots of animals have actually shown signs of chronic pain due to these procedures. So 21 to 28 week old calves castrated with rubber rings can have developed inflammation. Um, this method of castration can also lead to swelling and hardening of the tissue around the affected area. So not only does uh, a castration cause immediate pain uh, to the animal, but it can also be prolonged and can even lead to diseases. Um, the reason, so why do people castrate or why do the farmers castrate animals? The reason why farmers castrate animals is to reduce uh, the testosterone levels. Um, this makes the animal less aggressive, making it easier to manage the herd. Removal of the testicles also reduces the pH level in the animal. And a high muscle pH affects the taste of the meat negatively, so that's the, the reason for castrating. Um, so the only reason these animals are castrated is for our own benefit, which isn't fair to the animal at all, and something should be done about that. So why dehorning shouldn't be practiced? Well, both the practices of dehorning and castrating causes a lot of pain to these animals, and it is common for these methods to be done without anesthesia or a, por a form of pain relievers, and that can be very um, painful because these animals suffer from acute distress and when they do suffer from that it can lead to a pain response from the animal and these pain responses can affect both the owner and the animal negatively. So some examples can include foot stomping, kicking, losing interest in grazing so that means they're not really interested in eating so they eat less food reduced activity, stilted gait, and restlessness. And um, stilted gait just means that, well, their gait, a gait of an animal is a pattern of like movement that these animals do. And when it's stilted, it means that it's a little bit uneven and they just walk a little bit silly. Um, they can be restless and that just causes them to have a lot of issues because they're not getting enough rest, not enough sleep. Um, they're not really doing much throughout the day and they're just, they're acting out in response to the pain that they feel. Um, these are examples of um, foot stomping, kicking, and a sad little puppy because um, they don't want to eat because they're in a lot of pain. And these animals aren't um, the animals that go through these processes of dehorning, but they're just examples. And yeah, so it's very painful for them and it really affects their entire lives. Opinion and summary. According to all the information that we've been going through, castration and dehorning has a big impact against it. According to the history of the castration and dehorning, the methods that are used for that are painful and also they can have side effects in the animals. 
The tools that are used for the castration and the horning are calicrate, bander, scalpel, illustrator, newberry, knife, bordiso, and emasculator. If we pass to talk about the ethics of castrate and animal, we are going to see different point of views. Some of the world thinks that it's good castrate animal, but another ones think that it's not good for the problems that the animals can have in the future. And the animals do not have so much difference from the humans because they are they have feelings and they feel the pain too. In some cultures, the castration and the horning is not allowed for the religion that they have or just because sociological, it's not right.